More options for homeless people looking for a warm place tonight. The Eagan Warming Center at the Wheeler Pavilion in Eugene's late event center will open tonight as well as tomorrow night. It's going to open at 8 and then close each morning at 7.30. The Eugene service station opens for day service at 8 each morning. Eagan Warming Center official season will start November 15th and that is when the other warming sites will be ready on those cold nights. They are looking for volunteers and if you're interested just go to EganWarmingCenter.com. Students at Walterville Elementary won't have to add extra layers. They now have a new heating system after more than two months without heat. And KZI 9 News reporter Evita Garza shows us why parents are saying the delayed system repairs is a real shock in their small town. Carissa Cummings has two daughters attending Walterville Elementary School right now. She says the elementary school has always treated their students well, which is why it was surprising to hear that the school has been without heat since the beginning of the school year. I actually saw one of their teachers post on Facebook the temperature um, in one of the classrooms, so I told my daughter, oh, you know, you better wear, bring a sweatshirt to wear in class and then your winter coat as well. Walterville is a part of the Springfield School District. Staff say they received a $30,000 grant to replace the diesel fuel system that has been heating the building since the school opened in the 1950s. With 160 students and 12 staff members inside the building during the school year, many neighbors say the school should have fixed the heating system before the school year started. I would be in hopes if they had a, something that important that comes up again that they get right after and get it fixed. And I don't know what it took so long to get the heat system done. And I if you take a look at my phone, it says it's 53 degrees here in Walterville, and it's really cold and it's really windy. Before the heat turned on this morning, school officials say it was just as cold inside the school as it is out here, which is why they made it a priority to make sure the heat turned on as soon as possible. So what went wrong? A district spokesperson blamed a heating contractor for being behind schedule. When the weather turned cold this week, she said the district took matters into their own hands and went out of state to get the equipment and installed it themselves. It just uh, that seems like a, a basic necessity to have heat in their classroom, so it'd just be good for it to uh, get fixed a lot faster. Now that the heat is back on, parents like Cummings say she's relieved she won't have to remind her daughter to wear a warm coat during the school day. Reporting in Walterville, Avita Garza, KEZI 9 News.